A stereo net can be used to determine true dip. This clip shows how to determine true dip from a line on a plane. The line lies on a plane that has a strike of 0, 3, 7 degrees and a dip of 65 degrees towards the southeast. The line has a pitch of 76 degrees southwest west on this plane. Start by marking the North Pole on the tracing paper. Count 37 degrees around the primitive circle. Remember, heavy lines are at 10 degrees and subdivisions are at 2 degrees. So it's 10, 20, 30 plus 3.5 smaller divisions uh, to show where 0, 37 degree lies. Mark on the tracing paper the strike of the plane. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the North Pole on the stereo net. The plane is dipping at 65 degrees towards the southeast, so find the correct section of the equator and count 65 degrees along the equator from the primitive circle towards the centre of the stereo net. Mark the point where the dip is 65 degrees to the southeast and, holding the tracing paper in place, draw along the great circle that this point lies on. The line has a pitch of 76 degrees to the southwest on this plane. Hold the tracing paper in place and use the small circles to measure the pitch of 76 degrees. Mark on the tracing paper the point where the line has a pitch of 76 degrees to the southwest. Rotate the tracing paper so that the North Pole lies in its original position. The line has a plunge of 16 degrees in the direction of 0 to 0. Count 20 degrees around the primitive circle. Mark on the tracing paper this direction of plunge. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole of the stereo net. Count the small circles from the north pole on the primitive circle to show the plunge of 16 degrees. Mark the plunge on the tracing paper. Rotate the tracing paper until the two points you have marked on the tracing paper lie on the same great circle. Now draw a line along the great circle that the points lie on. This great circle you've just drawn intersects the great circle representing the bedding plane uh, that has a strike of 0, 3, 7 degrees and a dip of 65 degrees towards the southeast. Hold the tracing paper in place and count from the primitive circle along the equator to the great circle that the two points lie on. Remember, heavy lines are at 10 degrees and that subdivisions are at 2 degrees. Start counting in tens. You'll find that the great circle you've just drawn has a dip of 72 degrees east. Find the point where the great circle intersects the primitive circle and mark it on the tracing paper. Count around the primitive circle and determine the strike of the plane. It has an azimuth of 0, 1, 4 degrees. This means that the true dip has a strike of 0, 1, 4 degrees and a dip of 72 degrees towards the east. Record this measurement on the tracing paper.